Give it up for the cast of power. Ro Timmy, What's make up? some noise. Hey. My girl Natori. And Lorenz J. We're missing somebody. I know he's here somewhere. He's in the back, but he's Joseph. here. Where is he? Oh, oh, he had to leave. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So we are uh, we're here representing Joseph and Leela and Lala and Momari. We're here. They're all here in spirit. So we're here for y'all. Um, should I start the interview? I got some questions. No, I'm kidding. Go for it. Well, he wants to do our job, Lamont. No, 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 cool. no, no, no. That was the councilman take coming out. I'm going to let y'all do y'all job. But we, we do have some questions. We want to know. I mean, we, we always see Lorenz Tate in these really wonderful, yummy, lovey roles. And now you are the antagonist. Yeah, he's getting a little grimy. But it was been, it's, it's time for me to kind of, you know, get a little dirt on my jacket. Uh, and Councilman Tate, it's a different role for me. I enjoy playing along with these incredible actors and actresses on this, in, this incredible show. Uh, yeah, but, but Tate, you just never know what's going on with him. Councilman Tate always got some slick stuff happening. And uh, season six, there's going to be some, can y'all hear? Yeah. They're going to turn you up, but go oh, ahead. Oh, sorry. Season six, I know in four and five, y'all don't really know what's going on with Councilman Tate. You will find out all that you need to know about Councilman Tate, his agenda, his moves, and all the other stuff. Oh, is he what? here? Oh, he oh made he's it. here. Right. Joseph oh. made it. He is here. Joseph Sikora, everybody. Yes. The ladies love Tommy. They do. Joseph's in the building. Joseph Sikora, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Good to be here. Sorry for my late entrance. So, you guys are in your sixth season, correct? When you, we saw your characters go, especially you, Tommy, you kind of, you and Ro Timmy grew up in front of our eyes on a camera. Like, your roles just got bigger and bigger, and then you became more of the bad guy, Dre, than we ever expected. And was it difficult for you to transition to that role of being such a bad guy? Uh, from the beginning, when you were like the lovable character, Ghost's man, driving him around, and then you just became like, oh, I can't stand him. Nah, it was, um, it was exciting for me because uh, originally Courtney wanted me to be like a Ghost 2.0. And Courtney's a writer, creator of the show, amazing. So when she told me she wanted me to switch over to the bad side, I said, now I can make my own legacy. There's an already an Amari, you know, there's already a ghost. So I wanted to show what I could do. And for me, I'm so opposite of Dre that I thought it was going to be really dope to show that there's range in my, in my abilities. And so I'm excited for people to see season six and it gets even crazier. So everybody loves the bad guy, right? Good girls love the bad guy. So this question is for the world famous Tommy. As we were just coming over here, literally, everybody just swarmed you. Why do you think they love your character so much, even though you're such a jerk sometimes, Tommy? I think because we're all jerks sometimes. <laughs> and I think Tommy's a human, and I think that uh, he's kind of the he's kind of the people's champ. You know what I mean? He goes in there, he does work, calls it a day. He's always known what he's wanted. Uh, he's always been mission-minded. He, he's he's a loyal friend. Um, and he loves his brother, and I think we can all relate to that. Okay, so million dollar question then is back to TT. Are you really checking for your love life in the character of uh, Lala? Is Tommy really checking for her? Is Tommy really checking for her? Yeah, I think that what we have to remember is that Holly was an exotic thing for Tommy, whereas Lakeisha is home for him. She's from the neighborhood. Lala Anthony, I think, does a wonderful job playing Lakeisha. And I think that the, this relationship between Tommy and Lakeisha is certainly one of my favorite things uh, about season six because of the familiarity and the family. And my other favorite thing about season six is this one right here, Tasha. Yes. 
Tasha, Tasha Green, Tasha. everybody, and where she comes in and becomes her own woman, it's kind of a reverse thing of Lakeisha. Lakeisha and Tasha are kind of switching positions in a little bit. It's, it's crazy that you guys have such an amazing ability to switch your characters up the way you do. From Tommy, you go from loving your father to killing your father. Then you go from loving the redheaded girl to killing the redheaded girl. It's like, how did you guys prepare for such dramatic roles like that? Like, your mental state working on these characters, how do you keep up with that? You gotta keep your head on a swivel. I think that if you're playing in these dangerous games, it's, it's always in a heightened state, whether it's a heightened emotional state or if it's in a heightened state for self-preservation. These are things you always, I mean, and that's the world that we exist in. Power only shows the exciting parts. You know, these people are living regular lives, you know, going to the bathroom in the morning. Take, it, that's not interesting to watch. So we're, we're only showing the most interesting parts. So that's, that's what it is. So the Turi. I had eye surgery. Yes. The Turi. Yes. You're a new mom. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. So all, we are at Circle of Sisters, right? Yes. So all the black mamas want to know, Shut why up. does Tasha not choke up Tariq, mama? You know what? Tasha has tried. Who got gum in my mouth? Can I spit my gum out? That was real Jersey of me. I'm sorry. Thank you. You're you, now. That's a mama right there. See, we're gonna we're gonna sell that on she, eBay. She just took my gum. Notorious gum. Um, is for sorry, sale. Sorry, I forgot to spit out my gum. No, but Tasha has tried to smack Tariq. She's tried to discipline him. If you remember, he actually blocked one of her smacks yeah. one time, and I was like, oh no. We gotta call your daddy. So I think Tasha's doing the best that she can. I think she's a good mother. She fights for her children, but at the same time, there's only but so much she can do because he's a young man and he needs a man in the household like his father to make sure he's on the right path. So last Sunday we saw Tariq mingle with the girl who is now going to work for him. And we saw on Instagram that people are saying that is the new Ghost and Tasha. Any truth to that? I don't know. I saw that. I mean, that's an interesting angle. I don't know if that's going to happen. But it is like, you know, Tariq is definitely trying to be like Ghost. And now he's got a little boo thing. And that's kind of what Tasha was when they first were coming up. So I'm not sure if the writers are going in that direction, but it definitely could be interesting. Joseph, we so enjoyed your line last uh, episode where you're like, man, I ain't giving you no stars to the Uber driver. How much of your script, I mean, the writing is the writing this season, but how much do you guys get to ad lib and basically change the lines literally on the fly while you're shooting? Give us some behind the scenes. Uh, you know, I, I read that. No, that was a, that was uh, that was a scripted thing, and and sometimes you just have to take a cheap joke and run with it, um, and uh, whether it's whether you think it serves the story or not, it's it's written in a script. You got to pay homage to the writers, and I'm just grateful to have this job and be able to. It's a it's a privilege to play the character. And with the narrative of the ultimate betrayal this season, you and Ghost have literally battled before. You came through it. How are you digging in to make sure that this ultimate betrayal, this adversarial relationship between you and Ghost really hits harder than the last one we saw a couple of seasons ago? Well, I think between Tommy, Tommy thinks that this is a level playing field. This is Ghost and me, we're good. And Tommy has said this now three times. It's all good with me and Ghost. I got this, it's fine. But, and it is, it is a level playing field, but because it wasn't on Ghost's terms, he's not okay with it. He could be, but he's not going to be. So it's just showing that they're, they have to become their own men because they're really two sides of the same coin. And now that they've been pulled apart so far, they have to be their own people. Yeah. I think ultimately Ghost and Tommy are going to work it out. Just like I think ultimately Tasha and Ghost are going to stay together because nah. we love Tasha and Ghost. Nah. Girl. I you like the ultimate to... ride or die. Like, I'm going to call you when I got, I need to bust some windows. No, you're right. TT, you're my girl. And you know, I mean, Tasha will hold, hold him down. But there's only but so much she can do because he, he's cheated on me with Angela. He's been lying 
And he's been basically, now our daughter is And dead. he killed your love. I mean, he killed my boo, my two of them. Well, actually, no, it was not his fault, but whatever. My point is, I don't think Tasha and Ghost can survive any more damage to their marriage. I know y'all like Tasha and Ghost. We are the original Bonnie and Clyde. Not really, but you know, whatever. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I just think Tasha is ready to move past this dysfunctional relationship because she wants to be her own woman this year and she's got to move forward. Oh. So even though the spinoff will basically be a prequel to the story, Joseph, what is next? This role is, I mean, you've worked before, your body of work stands for itself, but this role, would you agree, is, is just big, big within your career. What's next for you once this season wraps up? I have a recurring role on Ozark. Yeah. Um, season three. Uh, Jacob's Ladder dropped. I have a, a, a script that's hopefully gonna be developed into something, and then um, I'm hustling. I'm looking for work, I'm auditioning, uh, putting myself on tape, sending it out to LA. It's a hustle, the hustler never stops. Lorenz, everybody wants to know, after Councilman Tate either wins or loses the election, and this season wraps up, will we see you in a certain remake? A certain remake that goes by the initials of LJ? A certain re remake that might co-star a certain person by the name of Nia Long. Love Jones too. Could that be on by the horizon the, for you? By the way, I can't let that ride. You were like my childhood crush. Um, oh my God. I you was see what like, I'm when you came me on, too. me too, right? I, mean, I loved like, you. I wanted to marry you. Me too. I had all your pictures on my wall. Me too. But thank you. I missed my shot. Damn. <laughs> I don't know. You might. Is he married? Oh, oh yeah, like, he's married. Well, honestly, oh, my his wife is beautiful, and he has beautiful children. He's got four, four boys. Four boys. Four boys. This man is amazing. A thank father, you. husband, yes. and a great actor. Well, I was actually you. crushing on you from Inkwell. Oh, That's man. it was done. Inkwell. Wow. Right? Well, to answer the Love Jones question, you know, um, I'm, I'm not sure. You know. We don't want to mess a, a, a good thing up. So, you know, Nia and I have talked about trying to find a way to work together again. I mean, we thought, or we think a Love Jones sequel could be ideal, but who knows, maybe something else in that world and in that space because the chemistry was so strong between myself and Nia Long. So, um, who knows what, what's gonna happen with that. But as far as other projects, I have a movie that I produce along with my brothers that's coming out this fall called Business Ethics. I got a, a audio series that I just wrapped up with um, Lawrence Fishburne that we Hi. produced. Um, it's a really cool thing called Bronzeville. I got a project that I'm working on that's in the animation space um, for black kids. And uh, a few other little things that we're, we're getting together. And as Joseph Secor said, the hustle never stops. So I'm looking for other cool projects to get myself involved in. And uh, I don't have a music career like Naturi and Ro Timmy. Ro Timmy, we gotta Ro get Timmy to Ro Timmy with his Timmy. album what? out. Yes. So Ro, 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 I'm passing I ain't it out to you yet. guys. Ro Timmy, I want, I want to talk to Ro Timmy, okay? Cause Ro Timmy, we gotta talk a little bit about the music, but also your character this this season, right? You turn drug boy, dope boy, to an informant, which was totally opposite of um, the street code of being a dope boy. So, and then last um, episode, we saw you find out that Angela was not working for you, but against you. So how is your character gonna develop more this season? I think this season, people are gonna see Dre as a father, more so, because they're gonna, he's put in a situation where he has to do certain things to protect his daughter. So it's cool the writers are showing the human side of who he is. And for me as an actor, I get to, I get to be a little bit more vulnerable show a little bit more of what I can do. And it'll make you, it'll make, it'll leave you saying, if I was in his situation, what would I do for, for the love of your, fi of your family? So it's pretty do you, cool. Do you think the fans are gonna love you again? Cause there were times last season when I would text you like, I love you in real life, but I hate you on television. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, 
I think you're going to have all type of perspectives, man, because it takes you like this. So you're going to be like, oh, I want him to. Then, damn, why he do that? Kill that man. I love him. So it's going to be one of those things, and, I, and I'm, I'm excited for people to feel that. And let's talk about, look, let's talk about your music, Love Rhythm. Yeah. yeah. That's out now. Yes, Everybody yes, can yes, stream yes, that. Yes, yes. Make sure you guys stream it right now, Apple Music, or on all streaming platforms. Yes. Do you plan on um, going on tour? What do you plan on doing with the music? So I'm going on tour at the end of this year. Um, I'm going to put out another project on my birthday, actually, uh, November 30th. So, hey. And I'm excited, man. And, um, and I just got a new movie coming out next year called Coming to America 2. So that's hey. going to be fun. So I'm excited. I just want to go on tour with Ro Timmy as his bodyguard. I, can I just? Can I, I sing wanna... back up? Can I? Can I just be back up? I mean, ding! I'll do a little shoe up, shoe up, back, back. I mean, Ro Timmy is living the dream. He's yeah. on TV shows. He's got a big movie coming out. He's Number on tour. One album. He's taking off his shirt every two seconds. I'm happy that he has his leather jacket on. That he's sweating underneath. Little armpits are sweating over here. I love my little bro. I just want to be your bodyguard. That's all I'm saying. And you know what? We have to say congratulations because you're a new homeowner too. Isn't that correct? You just built a big, beautiful home. So uh, congratulations on that new purchase. That has to feel good. Yeah, you know, um, my dad my dad taught me a couple years ago. Uh, he said, save all your money that you make from this show. He said, don't spend a dollar of power money. Use your money that you make off hostings and endorsements. So for six, se five seasons, I didn't spend a dollar of my money. So the first purchase that I did was I bought my house. And I bought it straight Flat cash, out. man. So and we need to tell people more about the power of money, the power of investing, the power of saving, because you're setting yourself up for generational wealth, and you're taking care of the next generation and yourself smart. So I take pride in that more than anything else, truly. Black Nicely man done. Congratulations. Yes. Maturi. Notori, give us, take us to the set yes. with you. Take us backstage or on set and give us a little, um, a little secret about shooting scenes with your co-stars. Give us a little something that we can take with us. Oh my goodness, secrets? See, uh, well, if you come on the set of Power, uh, just expect for you not to see the characters in their character personalities. We are very silly and we have a lot of fun. Honestly, you might catch me like, well, I'm always eating a snack. I'm always eating a snack and dancing and acting silly because I'm nothing like Tasha. Uh, Lorenz and I act a fool on We have set. a good time. And we don't have a lot of scenes together, but you know. But when we do. We, when, we, when we hang out or we see each other on set. It's so it's much fun. It's just number fun. Um, you know, spending time with. It's just good vibes. Yeah, it's, it's kind of nice to break up what you guys see. Y'all see us so serious on the set and on the show. And we do come to the set prepared. But before all of that, we high five and we talking about music. We talking about what's going on. There's a lot of hugging and love. When there's no one that has the same kind of relationship that you see with the characters. We all got a lot of love and respect for each other. And we have to have this sort of environment that feels like a home. There's a lot of camaraderie, there's a lot of brotherhood and a lot of sisterhood. Yeah. So that's what, it's, that's what it's like. All day on set, like oh, hours, 13, 14, 15 girl, hours on set. It's like sometimes our days, for me, I start at 4.45 in the morning and I have a, like, a, a little baby at home. I'm, I, it's really been challenging this season. I wake up, go to set, start hair and makeup at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. people to get all of this done. You know, it's a struggle. But it's worth it, because Tasha be looking right. Yeah, she does. Uh, and then we shoot sometimes for 16-hour days, depending on how many scenes you have. I mean, it's so much work shooting in New York City. It's cold outside. We shoot in the middle of winter. But at the end of the day, the fans like you guys make it all worth it. Woo! You guys show up for us every Sunday night. Tune in. You got the Stars app. Make sure you watch it on the go. Do whatever you have to, because this is the season that you don't want to miss. OK, so my final question is, as we wrap up, real quick, two. Rotimi, you can only choose one. Acting, music career. Ooh. He going to say music. I know that answer. 
Well, you know what, though? I'll say music, but the only, the only acting that I've done in my life that compares to music has been power. So for me, like, this has changed my life, but power has changed my life because it gave me a platform for my music. So I'm forever indebted to power. So it's very close, very close. All right, now this might be a little controversial, but we're at Circle of Sisters, we're family, we can make it happen. I'm gonna give you a choice, because we got a message to send to 50 Cent to Curtis Jackson, right? They say this is a big rich town. All those who want to hear the Joe intro say yeah. I know, I know. And who prefers Trey songs? Oh. That's the message. That's that was kind of mean. That was a little mean. Shout out to Trey songs. Shout out to Trey songs. I'm a fan. It we just so happens yeah. that maybe we should have kept the original because I love Joe, and that's okay. But we respect Trey, and we respect what he does in his music. Yeah, Thank and you. I don't think this is a, 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 a slight against Trey in, in any way. Trey Songz has incredible fans. Everybody loves Trey. But the thing about the theme song, their intentions were right in terms of wanting to give power fans something new to go out on this last season. But I feel like people's ears and their expectations are used to the theme song, the original theme song. So 50's intentions were right, they just didn't land with, with the people. But don't and worry, that's okay. this episode is going back to it's the going, original, I back. promise. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming back. We got you. We can focus on the storylines of what's going on. It's something that you guys do not want to miss. All the things that you are asking questions about or you're thinking about as you sit and have your power parties or you do your, par your, your power by yourself, whatever it is, those answers and those questions uh, will be revealed as you get each Sunday um, in your experience with power. Well, listen, guys, we thank y'all so much for stopping by Circle thank Assistance. You. Yes. Let's give it up for Lorenz Tate. Lorenz Tate. All these beautiful black women. Hey. Give it up for my girl Natori. Hey. And for the Nigerian prince, the handsome yeah. little TV. Hey. 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 Thank you all for coming thank out and supporting power. Number love.